Not right now, Bootsy, not right now. Alright. Starfield Review, Spoilers, An Interstellar Disappointment by Mild Conviction. I watched the fellow's entire video. First thought when I saw the title was, what's he going to do, shit on the game like someone who just hates Bethesda? No, far from it. He points out a lot of much needed improvements, quality of life changes for the game. One of which I actually suggested something that was lore friendly, such as using the Starborn powers to modify or even custom create legendary items. And that's just one of the many things that this fellow goes into detail about. And he's right. They're supposed to be using, what, a different game engine? An updated one? So... Why is the NPC pathfinding such a problem? I've been on one mission that I've spent hours trying to do that's broken, it's bugged, the mission's un uncompletable. Uh, what was it? <laughs> uh like the wonderful idiot I am, and you probably know and love, I forgot. This one where you go and you have to mine some sort of uh, deposits to clear out land for this fellow to build in, in Aquila City. The deposits just aren't there. There's nothing there to mine. The markers are there, but there's nothing there to mine to get out of the way. And the part where the NPC's pathfinding comes into play is I've had several town citizens, even my companions, walk in front of me while I'm mining, get injured, and then curse me out for it. And a couple of times I've had to reload a save because they want to put a bounty on my fucking head. Just because the NPC walks in front of me while I'm fucking shooting... A fucking laser drill into the fucking ground. Why is it so difficult for the pathfinding? Then there's the loading screens. Yeah, that's a big fucking problem. There's been more than enough people pointing that out. And as far as New Game Plus goes... I didn't know that the Starborn ship you're given and the suit you're given have no possible way of upgrading them or modifying them or making them better. That's a huge fuck off to me. On the other side of it, I view it similarly to the way I viewed Ratchet and Clank playthroughs. Do New Game Plus just to redo the storyline and all the extra quests. And there's a lot more that he talks about, such as the menus and the massive amount of resources that you have to keep track of and the, the uh, map. Yeah, we need maps. We need maps for the cities. And the, um, fucking star chart for traveling between star systems. Having a way to label them so I can see which ones I have outposts on. Uh, his suggestion of a favorites, uh, list 
and a way to organize them by which resources they have, uh, plant types and animal types. That's that's something all those should be implemented. They've got a different game engine than they used to have. They spent five years or more working on this. We have new hardware that's supposed to be able to do things better. Why the fuck isn't it better? And I've got over four days of playtime so far. Yeah, there's others who have more playtime. And others who have already New Game Plus dozens of times, maybe. But I'm just taking my time and enjoying the quests and the story and the atmosphere. So, why with the supposed advances in hardware and the supposed advances in Bethesda's game engine, do we have only an above-average Bethesda title? Todd, Bethesda Cinemax, do not leave these things to the modding community. Their work could be done in other creative ventures to add more experience and more story on top of what you've already got going. Make the quality of life changes that this game needs. And then there's the weapons to consider. Yeah, it needs a lot more energy weapons. It needs a lot more melee weapons. And then personally, something I have a problem with is the starborn powers being mapped to tapping both bumpers at the same time. Fuck that shit. How many different powers are there? Give us a menu where we hold a button down, then we use the joystick to select from a radial menu of hotkeyed powers that we want to use. A minimum of four of them. That's not so difficult to implement. Oh, that's a squirrel screaming at its something or another out there. I left my window open. So, who else agrees with the Starborn powers having a menu you that pauses gameplay and lets you select from a power? Then you release the button, closes that menu... Has that power hotkeyed to that button. And you just tap the button after that to activate it. It's that fucking simple. Also. I haven't done New Game Plus yet. I haven't got all the Starborn powers. So I'm not going to say anything further on that. I've ranted long enough. Well, it's not really a rant, but I've questioned why isn't this game better than it is for long enough. So, take a look at this fellow's video. Write down a list of bullet points and compare it with your experience playing through. Determine if you agree yeah, this stuff is there. It needs to be changed. It's supposed to have a better engine. It's supposed to have better hardware. The Xbox One Series X and S. It's supposed to be better. And then ask Bethesda, Zenimax, and Todd. Why isn't this game better than just above average? Why isn't it? At the level of being a 7 out of 10 
instead of just a 5.2. It's just barely above average for Bethesda game. And keep in mind, Elder Scrolls Blades brought the average down a lot on its own. I don't even want to talk about that game. Well, mobile money draining app, more like it. Don't want to talk about it. There's no way to summarize all this with a single statement or phrase. Because it's a myriad of quality of life problems and programming problems that should not exist. And I definitely want to be able to make it fully custom legendary gear. Definitely. With no negatives at all. And there's a plethora of games. I, I can point to World of Warcraft and say we can take and we can reforge, we can enchant, we can gem and socket and, and inscribe and all this. And in Diablo series, we can socket gems, we can reforge, <laughs> we can level up. I can I can point to more games, but The multiple points still stand. Why is this game only above average when it can be so much more? Right. Uh, yeah, I got my thoughts out. Someone else make another video. Compile all the information from numerous other people. Make a whole list. And then let's all spam that list to Bethesda and Zenimax and Todd. And let's get everybody we can to say these things. Because it's the only way that they're going to listen. We have to be persistent. We have to be rigid and inflexible and demand that they do these things for multiple reasons. Till next time, bye.